Today, we're going to be talking about accessibility for websites. responsible for writing a formal website or um, doing our own blog, we need to be aware that uh, there are a certain group of people who access the internet in a different sort of way. They use uh, screen readers and uh, uh, electronic braille typers and um, all sorts of other different gizmos in order to access web content and everything that we post needs to be accessible. You know when you've got a, um, you're writing a blog post or you're writing you're in some sort of editing tool you'll notice at the top that it says um, and by, by the side of font it says normal or it says heading one, heading two, heading three. Normally it's a drop down menu. Now these make your blog post look really, really pretty, but they actually serve a more serious purpose. In uh, somebody who is using a screen reader uh, uh, accesses your website, then these headings um, clearly demarcate and help them to navigate through your website that's the way that they skim and scan through your document. When one of those electronic voice kind of activation tool things stop captions now, um, when they're right, when they're being used, okay, um, one of the ways of navigating is to be able to click through the links on a page. Now, if we, if we always write read more or click here, or see more and use those turns of phrases for our links then that's all that they're going to be able to hear and it's going to make no reference at all to where that link ends up. So we need to get rid of those things and we need to basically um, make the link a either a whole sentence or a portion of the sentence that when it's read by a screen reader then they have a clear indication as to where that link will take them. The next thing we've got, okay, is what we have to do with images. It blew my mind when I was in the session. Essentially, there are um, captions and descriptions and alt text. The alt text is the one that kind of, you know when you hover over an image thing and it kind of comes up in a little, maybe a yellow box or something like that. Sometimes it appears like that. Sometimes it doesn't appear at all. It either needs to be a full bright sentence to describe what's going on in the picture and why it's useful to the main article, or it simply needs to read null or something like that so that then it's just basically bling on your site and when the screen reader goes through and the person and the user is there they know that the image is just there to be pretty and I'm not missing out on anything to do with the main article when I'm skipping past this image. So we've now come to the portion about well basically this video because what I'm hoping to do um, first of all, you should have been seeing captions uh, of everything that I've said. I'm not sure how they're going to spell. There should be a transcript um, um, attached to this post. Okay, so there's going to be some more helpful links um, in the show notes below. Uh, don't forget the closed captioning that we've got. Don't forget to subscribe at the top. And good luck.